probably lunch time. It is, it's just after lunch time. Hello and welcome to the 14th of May. I'm off to the gym. I'm not gonna lie, today, today was a bit of a struggle and I think it was Rico that gave me the push just to go. He says, just go because yesterday I was in agony, agony. So I went, my first day was Wednesday. So Wednesday was a bit of, um, you know, the, the unknown and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I was on a total high, jogged to the gym, walked and jogged on the way back. Yesterday, Thursday, oh, I felt it on the knee. So the knee is now strapped up again. And um, yeah, so I couldn't run on the treadmill, but I'm okay on the cross trainer, the elliptical trainer. I'm okay on the bike. The row is a bit tense, but I can do it, whereas jogging is an absolute no, no, no. Today, I've decided to drive to the gym just to give my me a little rest and I'm just planning to do maybe a few of the weight machines and probably like the, the abs machine and um, the kind of arms and things like that do the elliptical or the cross trainer whatever you call it and that's the plan today so I'll get something in and then I want to go into Lidl so I normally I'm not really a fan of Lidl I like um, Aldi's but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go to Lidl because it's all Greek themed today so my friend phoned me and my cousin messaged me so that's the plan once I finish from the gym. So getting back to my usual going to the gym and then going gallivanting after the gym, all sweaty and all of that. So I'm doing that, so at least I'm doing it. But anyway, I'm back on it and I do feel much better for being at the gym. Catch you later. Hello. Oh, and welcome to the 15th of me. I am just getting ready to fill my TK Maxx haul. <laughs> I don't know yet. I can't make up my mind whether I'm going to keep it or not. I think I am actually. I think I will but anyway so I'm getting ready to film that and oh the camera seems strange. Anyway, I'll fix it. I mean, I'll fix it when I'm filming properly, like I'm not filming now. <laughs> it just seems... Is that better? Hmm. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to... Just saw a little, little stitch. Yeah. Anyway, what do we think? See, I've noticed something else now. There's a bit of pebbling. The pebbling is slightly different. Am I too pernickety? Maybe that's why it's in TK Maxx. It's not a hundred percent perfect. But then sometimes we buy things from Louis Vuitton and they're not a hundred percent perfect. Um, so this is Kurt Geiger, by the way, just in case you haven't been following my stories on Instagram. And if you haven't, why not? So I had so many mixed reviews about this because you know people are like, "How many? Here you go. That's going on. Why do you need a Kurt Geiger bag?" But um. I think we get a bit, what's the word, snobby sometimes with mm, other makes that are not the real top high end. And this, this, I was attracted to this the minute I saw it. I really, really was. Why am I sitting here talking about this bag here when I'm going to do, probably talk about it in my TK Maxx haul? Because <laughs> you know, when I start talking handbags. I start talking handbags. You know, since the pandemic, I've really kind of changed the way I view my bags. I love them, don't get me wrong. I love them and I'm so glad I've got them. But I really didn't use them. Or haven't been using them. I'm talking as if the pandemic is um, is over with, but it's not because we, we Glasgow, not we, I'm not in Glasgow, but in Glasgow, um, is now going to going into another lockdown 
again because the cases have gone up so yeah jump from bags the pandemic so yeah i was saying um i haven't used them i mean last week i took out my walk i took out my walk i thought oh, let me take out my walk but i didn't feel comfortable because i was having to sanitize all the time but when i use like my gucci bags because they are so 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 old when I've, I've been using um i don't worry about them and i've been using like my lrm bag which is my let me get it this bag which says andrew on it because i don't worry about it you know but i'm not gonna take i won't take my pochette because of the untreated liver and all of that and i suppose i've used my palm springs mini just put that back up there and i've used my palm springs mini because there's less to worry about on that bag should we get that out here it is because it's got the treated leather and it's canvas and all of that i don't like to use this as a crossbody bag because it swings so i don't like to use it as a crossbody so i tend to use the lrm bag or the zara pearl bag is another bag i've been using because i don't have to worry about it or i just take a big shopper and just kind of throw my purse into like the kind of the one that like lux and roses got me and this is the other one that this is probably my most used bag I always wear this crossbody just love it this messenger one men's department in gucci couldn't even tell you how many years old it is i really couldn't okay it's um time to do the tk max haul mm. what my hair look i have sprayed so much of that stuff in it look how dark it is in the roots because i've i've started going a wee bit lighter so the sprays that i have are kind of darker and this is the lighter one of the two that i have and look how dark my roots look because i think i've even changed the shape of round my head it's not that bad actually that's that spray hiding all the greys because my colours due next week so I'll be getting that done next week so I hate this this week the week before so that's why my roots look that colour okay right that's me right I'm gonna get on with the filming okay I'll touch up my lipstick it's a matte lipstick it's a Dior and which i've done a full review on these dual lipsticks ones that came in the red case what is this let me see this is rouge dior 760 is it 6 or an 8 i think it's 760 um favorite velvet it says on the packaging it looks like this mm -mm -mm lovely oh and on the nails i have nail zinc pro these are so fabulous to apply they're just so so easy to apply the brushes on these uh it's got the like the double red like the um let's go see if it fitted in it like the chanel ones the brush is such a good brush on these and oh, i better tell you the color of it <laughs> it's st james the color is st james that's just one coat i did just for quickness no top coat i haven't done a top coat or anything look at the shine on that it's fantastic no top coat one coat so i will do another coat i don't know if i actually need to do another coat but um and of course i am um, gel my my base coat is gel it's um the Joe Builder. This one. Five in one. And then I've got my lamp. I use my lamp as well. And that's why my nails have started to grow again. I mean, when I take the gel off, they're really weak. Really, really weak because I keep picking the gel off. I know. I know. I know. I'm not supposed to and I didn't go to the gym either see how I jumped from one thing to another I didn't go to the gym today because I wanted to get 
this filmed because what happens when I come back from the gym? I am gazonked. I am knackered. Need to um, build the old fitness back. I think I've probably, I kind of jumped in in the deep end and just, you know, somebody at the door. Can we hear Lily? We have to go and see who's at the door. Oh, look who I've got. Here, she was sleeping in the car, weren't you? Is the light too bright for you? Will I turn the light down? Will I turn the light down? How's that? Is that better? Are you going to say hello to everybody? Hi. Hi. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> oh, say hello. Welcome to Yaya's channel. Georgie goes to nursery now, don't you? I'm a natter. What? I'm a natter. She goes to nursery and gymnastics. Which is best, gymnastics or nursery? Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Remember we used to go together? Do you remember? Yeah. You're still very tired? No? You okay now? Where's mummy? Mummy to work. Mummy's away to work. Isn't she? Yeah. Did daddy not do your hair today? Uh, my dad. Hmm? My dad. Oh, you did it? Alright, okay, you did it all by yourself. My oh. clip in the car. Your clip's in the car? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Want to say bye bye? Bye. Hello, <laughs> and welcome to the 16th of May. It is dry. We have a little sunshine. We have George here. <laughs> oh, George has just arrived. He borrowed our lawnmower, his daddy's lawnmower, because his dad's got like the most biggest lawnmower you've ever seen. So he likes to do that and use that because you cut the grass a lot quicker. We are having a barbecue today. Okay, so that's the lawnmower delivered back to its home. We are organising. Rico is uh, cooking. And yeah, so we still have to. Um, be outside as of tomorrow you can be inside but as of today you have to stay outside so fingers crossed the um, weather stays nice so Rico has chopped the salad ready which I will portion out into the salad bowls we have our plates ready cutlery is ready we have our sauce pots here for the sauce that Rico has made for the kebabs. We have this ready to put in either the potatoes or rice, service, corn on the cob, uh, pita bread, jug for the water, champagne and wine. Rico has skewered the chicken, skewered the beef. We have some Greek sausage. He's gonna make a potato salad. And here's his chili sauce for the kebabs. Here we go, lovely desserts all ready to go, looking good. Table is set, ready to go, here we go, looking good. And there's our wee Lily. <laughs> They're making up in you under the table, yeah. Zippo's looking good, I would say. Let's do a quick barbecue outfit. We have my DKNY sweatshirt on, and the sun's now come out. And Zara jeans, Hermes sandals, nice and casual. There we go. Got the Greek music going. As you do, get you in the mood for a party. Got the red lippy on. <laughs> We have the champagne chilling. We have the water to water it down eventually. Potato salad is in and ready. Here we go. And the barbecue is on. I'm just gonna go and give Lily a wee chase with the ball. Welcome to the 21st 
of me it is Friday and I haven't spoken to you since Sunday when my friend when well, our friends I should say were coming over Marilyn and Simon and we had a wonderful 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 time I didn't get the camera out because it was just having too good a time um, it just it almost felt normal again it was so good and the gazebo was absolutely fabulous did the job so that was wonderful I have just finished up from the hairdressers I have had my colour done I have had my highlights done and yeah I love it when I get my colour done Ooh, I've had the mask on and everything so anyway so I've had quite a busy week I've been kind of almost felt like a normal week I was back at the gym and um, got my bits and pieces done as well you know lady bits and pieces that we all get done so that's good and just had a lot of things going on so and you know I haven't been on Instagram like the usual way I'm on Instagram and thank you to all of you that messaged me asking if I'm if everything's okay and just saying you're checking in on me appreciate it it, it does it's nice um, I just I've just had a lot going on this week so that's really been the update up to now so um, that's it I'm on my way home now I popped into Primark I got some more hangers because remember when we got the first major um, announcement that we were going into lockdown way back in December I was in the middle of um, doing my cleaning out my wardrobe basically and then I kind of sort of run out of hangers I've done bits and pieces like in my mum's room sorted them out a bit but not properly so now I've got the hangers I've no excuse and it started off to begin with that oh oh something's happened here it's an ambulance fire engine somebody's on a stretcher good I hope they're right God help them hope everything's okay there doesn't seem to be any other cars involved Anyway, we go to look after them. Still they're working on the person anyway. Um lost track. I don't know. Everything else seems much just silly now. I don't I have no idea. But I was talking about wardrobe and changing over, I think it was. Yeah, so oh just idiots mad. Okay, I am home. It is a few hours later. Now I know why my battery or why my camera stopped in the car because I need to change my battery. <laughs> Cheers to changing the battery. I put ice in my wine. I know. Okay, let me change my battery and I'll come back to you. Okay, battery change. Right. Stop filming at about the point, well I never stopped, the camera stopped, at about the point when um, a van was reversing out and I had to kind of swerve and at that point the camera stopped. Anyway, all that aside, I am home and I'm tired because I came home and I was absolutely starving so I sat down, I had something to eat and then I got stuck in with helping Rico which was washing up and labelling and I did that and I'm and I want to go and watch at the moment um there's a program the inside of the bar model which again if you've been following me and you've been with me and I know you that have watched my vlogs we are yeah we are friends and you know you know what I'm talking about we were supposed to be going to the bar model for my friend's 50th and it was going to be my birthday at the time and all of that and then lockdown and blah 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 so we're still planning to do that so anyway I've, I've, we've stayed at the Balmoral 
before anyway a couple of times so anyway I just something I'm interested in so I'm gonna go and watch that I did the gym this morning I did a class amazing and by the way so I'm at this gym now my local gym which let me tell you is a lot cheaper than the one I used to be at and it's the same instructor one of my favorite instructors actually one the instructor that I went out jogging with um during lockdown okay so that's so anyway oh it was so good really enjoyed this morning's class and I can feel my um my 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 fitness <laughs> my fitness has gone down can you hear in my voice I'm tired I'm tired I'm tired I'm tired and I've had my first glass of wine of the week and I've put ice in it just to water it down a bit that's why I've put ice in it because you know I don't want it to you know anyway I'm going to talk about bags now and I'm also going to show you what I got from Primark I still have this but I have decided as much as I love this bag as much as I love it and you all gave me great reasons for keeping it or not keeping it you I agreed with every one of you if I had to be honest I love is it silver sparkles that said to me is it silver sparkles is it silver sparkles she said to me um you know at the end of the day it's a couple of bottles of them chanel nail varnish but i really I, I want to concentrate on using the bags that i have i really and that's the bottom line that's the only reason i'm not keeping this and apart from it it is really really small really really small but i do love everything about it i think i'm gonna review it before i take it back is what i'm gonna do do a proper review and what fits in it in the mini is that, is that a mini Kingsington? I, I don't know. I'll do my I'll do my homework and do it properly. Bag I carried today was my Gucci. I just basically had my key pouch in there, which carried my money as well, and I had my camera in there, hand sanitizer, just hanging on the outside, and this is the original strap to it so it's quite a, you know it's, you can tell it's a good quality strap i mean years and years old and look at it it's perfect really honestly perfect so that's the original strap so it's kind of a, a shoulder strap and i just added this amazon strap on it just to crossbody it and this and this fits about the same in it so that's what i had in it other bag I was using today was my Yaya bag which Lux and Roses sent me and I need to take when I go to the hairdressers I need to take a big bag because I have to put my coat in it and then of course just in case I go into Primark you know okay let's get on to the Primark haul quickly because there's not enough here to do a proper Primark haul so we'll just do it in the vlog for those of you that take the time to watch my vlogs I've already mentioned I'm not sprayed in over this baby anyway, I'm doing well it's my little pouch which didn't fit in my Gucci bag because my camera was in it so I had just threw it into my yaya bag the Oriton pouch which holds my inhaler a spare mask and sweeteners which I really I don't use sweeteners anymore so I don't know i'm gonna take them out of there because they're a waste of space they love absolutely love this pouch so that was in my yaya bag and i got more hangers because they were reduced and it's not because they were reduced because I, I needed them so these are reduced to 280 from 350. i got two packs of them and i'm gonna mix the colors i had kind of set in there for a color and it's set in there I'm not doing that anymore it's too it's too much like hard work life is far too short to waste my time trying to find the right hanger come on as long as they're not sliding off it's fine you got some more masks from Primark 250 I'm not going to try them on because I haven't sprayed them so I'm not going to try them on I don't know who's been touching them you know I'm still be, I'm trying not to be as paranoid I, I honestly I'm trying to be not so paranoid and 
this week I mean I have been out more than I have been out in the whole year let me tell you I'm going get this done and getting up there and da, 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 da. okay jammies which by the way I have jammies on on the bottom half of me I had my dinner now the jeans felt tight jammies I think these are the same and I love I really really love these jammies so I got myself a new pair and baby pink it's washing them out then so I got these in a size small eight pounds for the bottoms I got a top as well to match them of course and ten pounds for the top by the way pink up pajamas are getting dear you know, we, we used to spend the fiver for a top and a bottom, but look how long that is. I mean, seriously, look how long that is, but it's jammies, I suppose. So they were £10, £18 for the set. I had my brolly in my bag. And what else have I got in here? Quite a few things. What's this black thing? Oh, I love these again you've probably seen me wearing these before i got this bigger actually i got this in a size medium which is a 12 14 uk 12 14 so these are the gym tops the ones with your thumb poking through i love them i love 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 them wish i just wish they had them in a different color so i sized up in that so i love them and i've had two of the ones I've, I've got my other two the grey and the black one that I've got are both from Primark wash grey still going strong I'm back at the gym now I'm going to have to go into Nike and get some talking of which let me talk so I remember I bought gym gear from um, Amazon no comparison to Nike no. now that I'm back at the gym I want my Nike gear the Amazon gear no thank you I got Wonder Lash. I think this is a dupe for something. Is it the dupe for that mascara that I didn't like? Better than sex? Is it? Somebody let me know. I don't know if it's a dupe for that. I hope it's just the packaging that it's a dupe for. I love the the mascara that I'm using from Primark. I mean, it's what I've got on today. I mean, look, I've had, I mean, I've, I've, as you can see, I have done nothing. This, this makeup has been on since... I came back from the gym, showered and got my makeup on and look, there's no blackness from the mascara or anything like that. So, and this is 50 pence dearer. This was three pounds. How much was that gym top? I think it was seven pounds. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. So, my usual mascara that I get from Primark is 2 50 This one was three pounds. You know, I probably could have done a Primark haul. And... I got another, um, let's see what this feels like, a brush, how much was this, a pound, obviously this is a dupe for the Real Techniques brushes that I have and absolutely love, I've had them for years, worth every penny, but I don't have enough of them that I can kind of, some people, like my friend B, has a jar for her dirty brushes so when she's used a brush it goes into the dirty brush and then she has her clean brushes in another jar i don't have enough brushes to do that in her brush. it is not for coming out she's oh, come why, why is this so i will let you know at some point i might even apply i can't i'm gonna break my nails i've done it people let me tell you this feels good. Oh, I'm gonna go back, and I'm I'm going back, and I'm, these feel good. They've got the nice and soft, but enough solidness on them, so they're not too fluffy. Don't like a brush that's too fluffy, and it's too ended for a pound. Oh my goodness! I'm definitely gonna go back and get more of these. These feel really good. Let me apply my makeup, and I'll let you know. Okay, now that I've made all this mess, that's my pre-mark haul. I'm going to go and watch my program which is starting in five minutes.